Hello everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I'm just getting set up here so I can see any comments, if anybody comments. Okay, so today we're playing with the Honey Bee Home bundle and I know it's weird I'm using stuff from the annual catalog but I don't know if you're like me I buy all this stuff and want to use it and then um I run out of time and so I I try to make something with everything that I purchase and so I've since gone back and started playing with some annual catalog items so that's why you're seeing this one at the moment so what we're going to make today is this really cute um, tissue holder that I thought would be cute to give to somebody for their desk. And what's nice about it is when it's not in use, it can fold flat. So um, we're going to go ahead and make one of those. I like to get the stamping out of the way. So let's go ahead and start with that. <clears throat> I will apologize. Er, I'm going to apologize. I thought I had gold glimmer or er, foil paper and I didn't. And the only stuff I could find was some retired celebration product. So I did use that, but I linked the correct link when I share this video. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have a big, big hexagon and then a smaller hexagon. And then I have a scrap as well. And we're going to be using some Memento ink. And the reason we're using Memento ink is because we're going to be using our Stampin' Blends to do um, some the coloring. So I'm first going to work on the large hexagon. And I'm going to stamp Stay Wonderful at the top of that hexagon. Then I'm going to stamp a large B. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside, um, let it dry for a moment. And then I'm going to stamp some flowers. And I am going to bring in a notebook here because I don't want to go off on to my page here. So I did that. And then we also want to do another B that we're going to fussy cut out really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that onto here. Okay, so that's all of our stamping out of the way. Now we're just going to color and then we'll put our guy together, our little tissue holder together. Um, now there is dies that will cut out each of these. I'm just going to fussy cut it just because we only have one to fussy cut. Um, the colors I'm using are the basic black blends the Daffodil Delight Blends, and the Petal Pink Blends. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring, and I'm going to use the dark... Oh, sorry, this is so saffron, not Daffodil Delight. Don't know what I was thinking there. And I'm just... I like to use the dark one first. And then go back with the little, hi, Kathy, how are you? Thanks for joining. You haven't missed much. We're just doing all the stamping and coloring first for our project. So you're right on time. Okay, so there's that piece. Then I'm going to bring in my other B that we're going to fake fussy cut out. I don't know why I said fake. 
fussy cut out. That doesn't make any sense. We are going to fussy cut it out. Okay, we're gonna set that aside for just a moment and then we're gonna color this bee and we'll fussy cut that out and then we'll make our cute little project. I plan on making um, some of these for Christmas gifts because you know it is flu season around that time. And so I just thought it would be a perfect little gift. And like I said, you can make, you can make them and fold them flat um, and you don't have to have them 3D, which I love that part. I run out of room to store items. Okay, so that's all the coloring, and then I'm gonna come in with with my Wink of Stella, and I'm gonna color in my bees and give my flower some oomph. And then we're gonna bring in our scissors and fussy cut this bee out. Like I said, the dies will cut it out, but I just thought this might be a little easier than dragging out the machine and you know, all that fun stuff. So there's that. I'm going to pop up with a dimensional of that B. Just like that. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on this big oxagon as well. Okay. We're gonna just set those aside. Um, you're gonna, you missed it, Kathy. I did say, I thought I had gold glimmer paper and I couldn't find it. And so I ended up using some old celebration paper we had last year, but the link in my bio will have the right link. I just couldn't find it, of course. Okay, so let me tell you what our measurements are here. We have some basic black cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. And then we have some of the free celebration designer series paper if you spend $50. One piece is cut four by four. One piece is cut three and a quarter by four. And then one piece is two and a quarter by four. What you're going to need to do and I just realized we're gonna have to use our um, big shot anyway, and so I should have um, just cut out the B then, but that's okay. We are going to score this on the 11 inch side at four and a half, at seven, at eight, and at 10 and a half. Okay, so you're not gonna need your trimmer anymore. Get rid of that. We are gonna fold and burnish all those score lines. Okay. So how this is going to work is it's going to go up like this. So we want to put our designer series paper on and I'm going to put the four by four up on the top there. Then we're gonna fold it over on this side. We're gonna put our piece of designer series paper next to the half inch tab. Okay. 
make, yeah, just wanted to shoot. I wanted to make sure I had that right. And then we're gonna put that other little strip right next to it. Okay, let that dry for just a second. We're gonna get out our big, um, our Stampin' Cut and Emboss. And um, you are gonna need your large one for this. And the dies that I used that um, with this set as well that did the oxagons and that are gonna make the little hole in our top here, they are the um, the beautiful shapes dies. I forgot to mention that. I know I love that celebration paper, and so I'm like I've got to use it up. So we're gonna put our pods down. We're going to die cut a little shape here for the tissue to come out of. And I picked, you know what, on my old one, let me show you the one. It's the one I made. I did this size. I'm wondering if it might be kind of fun to do the hexagon size. Let's try that this time. Something different. Just since we're using hexagons. So I like to put my um, dies down with a piece of post-it tape and I just reuse my tape over and over until it's not sticky anymore. And then I'm just running that through to cut that hole out. Perfect. Let me get rid of this so we have some room on my desk. Okay, so now we have our little hole. And you could use this shape for something else if you wanted to. It's up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our tear and tape in and we're gonna put tear and tape on that little half inch. Um, oh good, I'm glad you like the hexagon. We're gonna use tear and tape right here to put that together and then we're going to take off that backing paper and then what I like to do is I like to fold it so that all my designer paper is showing and then fold that like that. You know what I just realized? My hole is not in the center. So what I would do to fix this is maybe do another little B right there. Um, and then you wouldn't notice it. That's what I would do. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue down our foil sheets or if you're like me using retired product. I did kind of like how this paper looked with it though. I will confess that. And then I'm going to take off my dimensional paper and I, I kind of put it offset like that. I think I know what I'm going to do different here. I'm going to do I'm going to use the piece I glued out. And then put my little hexagon and B right here. Just like that. Okay. So now we just need to add our tissue paper, or our, not our tissue paper, our Kleenex, and then you could see how cute it is in 3D. So it holds just these, and you can get these at the Dollar 
Dollar Tree. And then it's perfect for somebody's desk. And like I said, then it folds flat if you want to make a bunch and store them. So that's what's kind of fun about them. So that's our project today, you guys. It was super simple, super easy to make. And that's what I love about it. <coughs> I love that you guys joined me today. And I hope you had a great day. Um, join me tomorrow on my Facebook Live for another fun project. And I will see you guys later. Make sure I see everybody's comments. Perfect. Okay. Have a great night. Bye-bye.